But other than the obvious leadership qualities, all the contestants had one thing in common. How do you describe a member of parliament? Watch us. Watch us. <laughs> <laughs> they are an epitome of, uh, of greedy highness. And therefore within a fambaya. He want to suck my blood. I mean, suck to suck my blood, the blood of the safana. As the sun set in Garissa town, the judges were left with the task of deliberating on the 12 contestants out of the 60 that would make it to the second round of additions. The next morning, it was time for the judges to announce the final 12 candidates who would be moving on to the next stage and expectations were high. Definitely to me, I'll be among the winners. Um, I was steady. I understand that my question and uh, I expressed myself like uh, I, I am in, in me, I am what I am. We had to look at various things. The issue of values of the people, of the candidates we were looking at. The issue of how well they understand the issues in their, uh, the question of how well they understand issues in their county and the country. But we did finally make the 12 um, candidates who are going to move on to the next phase. So I will start with Isiolo. Isiolo, our selected candidate, is candidate number 064, that is Zainab Wario. Oh. Garissa, our selected candidate, is candidate number 068, Enoch Jenga Gitao. Embu, our selected candidate, is candidate number 074. Anne Pauline Wangi. And from my last list of four, our candidate from Samburu County is candidate number 078, Josephine Kulea. Thank you. My four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our four from you. <laughs> um, from Meru, number 081, Timothy Murithi. In Wajir, we have number 090, Abdi Mohammed Hassan. From Tarakanizi, we have number 092, James Kitari Kinyua. The eighth candidate is from Kitui, number 103, Amos Musioka. From Masabit, we have 107, Grace Guyati Kosi. For Mandera, we have Adan Abdallah, number 112. From Lamu, we have number 117, Anthony Maina Jomo. <laughs> Last but not least, we have number 121, Elizabeth Duya. The judges uh, have given me another chance, uh, maybe to prove how worthy I am in, in this uh, leadership contest. And I hope and pray that I'll make it through the second round. The judges were practically fair. And uh, I don't think uh, in a competition there must be a winner, there must be a loser. But I hope you are not losers. The journey begins there. I didn't know I'm going to make it to the next round. But yeah, it has just happened that my name was called out the last minute. And I'm so excited. It was time for the second round. The 12 contestants were given a task and depending on how they performed, the judges would select the final four who would travel to Nairobi to compete for the top spot in Uongozi. We have 12 uh, left behind with us. We're trying to slim it to four. 
and uh, we're planning to look more into how they interact with others before it was more of an individual analysis. Congratulations, you should be very, very, very excited. Clap for yourselves. Now uh, we're moving on to the next level uh, from the 12 of you. Uh, we have to try and narrow down to the next four. And in order to do that, we have assigned you a task at hand. And you have one hour to complete that task. One hour starts now. So, what is it the judges are looking for? We're looking for clear leadership skills. You know, leadership is about taking risks. So we want to be able to see how that comes out through the task. You're saying you're a leader, you're going to be working with people. You're going to be leading a county, you're going to be leading a country. How are you going to work with people? So that gets a little bit more complicated. It's going to make for an interesting afternoon, to say the least. Finally, it was time to implement the task. 20 survivors, apart from you, and below are their brief personal profiles from damaged government archives. There are 20 survivors in a devastated area and the contestants read the profiles of these survivors. Each survivor has a strength and a weakness and the task of the contestants is to choose only 10 survivors that can be used to rebuild the community. Contestants have only one hour to come to a consensus. The judges will be looking out for decision-making, leadership, communication skills, teamwork, and ability to accommodate another person's opinion. Given the mix of personalities, things are bound to get out of hand. As I've been caught five times in Mpango Yakando, <laughs> <laughs> From an assessment by the most advanced researchers and scientists, only 10 people should be retained for this community to survive. Otherwise, all the people will perish. You are appointed to reconstruct the community in order of priority. What is our mode of operation now? Because we have the task here. Uh, we need a coordinator. Uh, I will coordinate. Someone to uh, be coordinate. the chair. I will we coordinate. Majority angry. I, I propose to coordinate. What? I have an idea. So. We can divide ourselves in small groups and divide this, these people into the... These are 20 people. Ten, ten. We are 12. Yeah. We can pick a group of four, three each. We go into four groups, each to pick five, five groups. Then you work on your list and pick a person. Then you come together and share our... And we make our work easy. Things started off on a good note as the team set about laying the ground rules. I'm saying if, if your group is three people, you pick the first five and work on them so that we hurry, then like that, then we pick two, 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 then we share. Since we are a group and uh, we need to get organized, yeah. yes. let's appoint a chair, mm -hmm. which we, we move our points through and he will direct us on what to do. It's my opinion Mr. that Mr. we should not divide into groups. Because of what you have just raised, yeah. I think Timothy can chair. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I propose you become his secretary. Mm -hmm. Gender balance. Gender balance. Oh, okay. yeah. so gender to to like that a, majority, yeah. Let's take a... She has pen and paper. She, she can, can do the secretary. Yeah. 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 Chair, chair, one thing we need to know, yes. as far as calamity happened, yes. we are bound by the rule of, of law. Yes. From the list of 10 people, I think all of them are very important. Even if you are a rapist, you are a drunkard, you are a terrorist, in front of justice, everyone is equal. Let's help the 20 all to survive and reconstruct the community. Mm -hmm. Instruction number one says, as an individual, mm -hmm. select 10 people you, you will retain. So what we're beginning is, mm -hmm. with, is we're going to go through as an individual. Do your own work first, and then after that, we go to two more. Otherwise, if we uh, ignore this one, we are going in the wrong direction. Coming up on Uongozi. We have lost focus. All these people, really they have a problem. No, where are we going to take them? So what you are deciding, we are not doing any constructive thing. Welcome back. We are in Garissa where so far 60 contestants from 12 different counties have faced the judges. 12 have been chosen to proceed to the next stage where they are to implement a task that will determine 
the final four who will travel to Nairobi for the next stage of Uongozi. We have wasted much time. There comes a time when you are heading a group, and um, especially a group like this, where uh, many of them want to uh, display their, their eloquence, their intellect, and uh, uh, they want to outshine each other, outdo each other. And that is uh, the weakness we have in our society. Let me just now, let me talk. I've just listened to you, but all of us, we are just repeating what others have said. Yes. Yeah. Let's go, let's put go ahead. Put a star, put a star. Now, now yeah, can you go through the chair? Through the chair, <laughs> yes. through the chair. Yes, there is. The lady from uh, Masabit County. What we have to know is that as, as a human being, every person has different character, like animals. A snake cannot make a sound of a lion because it has its own sound. We don't panic. They are all human beings. We don't need to go through the list. Let's help reconstruct the community with the 20. Because they are, they are all human beings. Yeah. We don't need to waste 15 okay, years. Now I feel we failed. I feel we lost focus. Uh, I feel we didn't follow the rules. Uh, and I feel we showed uh, we are incapable of making tough decisions because as a leader in leadership, that is what sometimes you'll be required to do, not being a leader to seek popularity contest. We are not understanding that the elimination method is a method that we shall agree. Mm -hmm. No one has talked about killing here. Yes. It is said clearly that the ten shall be eliminated through a method that we agree. What is the construction of the community? What is elimination? We can seclude them in a meaningful way. We no, we can, we can do this. Everybody was talking. Everybody wanted their idea to be considered. And at the end of the day, we wasted time and we could not make up a conclusive Suggestion. So what you, are deciding? We are not doing any excuse constructive me, thing. Me. Time is going, everybody is talking. Let's, let's stop now, to the please. Let part. us not yeah. panic. Mr. Yeah. Chair, yeah. my friend there, talk, talk. No. No. It's not no. only about not to move around a question. All these people, they have a problem. Yes. All these people have a problem. Except that young boy. If we say we kill, we kill all. Elimination is not killing. It can be correction. It can be correction. We keep all of them. Because there's right. Stop talking. Stop talking. Your time is up. <laughs> Give me the paper. Well, they did a task, but I think they set a totally different task for themselves which was pretty interesting. I'd really like to hear how, how that happened because they kind of just went and decided, this we don't want to do, this is the direction we're going to take and uh, well, interesting. So let's hear what they have to say about it. It was time for the contestants to meet the judges and answer some tough questions. Congratulations again for making it through and uh, bearing it through the day. Now uh, about your task, we're here now to give you feedback and pick the top four performers from the 12 of you. The group actually failed to complete the task. You didn't even decide on one person that you would eliminate. You changed the rules. In, uh, in the form, it was very clear that you had to pick 10. So technically, if any of you was president of Kenya, everybody would be dead right now. Why, why do you think you didn't uh, Complete the task. I am. I was the chairman of the task, mm -hmm. um, and it was a bit difficult when, um, as a team, for example, some of us were trying to drag. When we uh, made a step forward, there were some contributions that were taking us back. So we went round and round. No, you are the chairman and you are supposed to control the meeting. So let me ask you, does anyone has a reason why you, all of you failed? The reason why we failed is that there was no proper coordination. The chairman of the group could not take command of the group, but at the end of the day, he could not stand up and say that this is the way we are going to go. This is what we are going to do. That is why we failed. Otherwise, 
everybody in the group had the answers and had the solutions to bring the, to the Okay, group. if you had the answers and the solutions, why did you change the task? <laughs> because w w the task that you did and the task that was said were two totally different things. Yes. There are two issues that led to the failure. One was misunderstanding the question. No, let's not say failure yet. Let's just say that the task changed. Yeah, to to not completing way. the task. Okay. One was misunderstanding the question, mm -hmm. and uh, two was not following the rules. Um, trying to show a softer side so that. Um, we could show that uh, we, we don't want to take the hard stance. Mm -hmm. uh, those two, I feel, in my opinion, were the most basic aspects that made us not complete. What was the difficulty with that? Why did you find it difficult? Zainab especially, you had a big difficulty. Why did you find it hard? You had a problem in terms of deciding that uh, these 10 can be eliminated. That's what I was just curious about because I saw you were very clear that we are not giving any of them up. All of them have to stay. You were very clear, very, took a very strong stand on that. I understood by the first paragraph that they were all injured mm -hmm. and the survivors were only the 20 people there. Now, for me to decide who is to live and who is to be eliminated, mm -hmm. I didn't knew the magnitude of the injuries and I will not give them out because if I say I eliminate 10, the diseases are there and I don't know the level of the injuries. May but they you are told very mm -hmm. simple, eliminate 10. Yeah. They didn't complete the task. Uh, which is quite unfortunate um, that they didn't. But the process of not completing it was so dynamic. So we got to see uh, the true personalities of each and every one of the candidates. And that was the exciting part. It really wasn't about whether they finished it or not. The judges had to make some tough decisions on who the final four would be. I'm not sure he's exciting enough. He's is he the kind of person you'd really want to know? What is he going to say next? What does he think? No, no. He's not. I do not agree with this because really we're here to, leadership is about following the rules and we're not following the rules. If you notice from all the group, no new ideas. He had no idea. All he did was you. You. I was thinking, why is she talking? Why would the first thing be the issue of right? And I'm thinking, oh, okay, that's an interesting angle for people to work with. So you give a chance to you because you're going to be the loudest man in the room, a voice. Mm -hmm. And he didn't say any single thing that contributed to the debate. He didn't say much. He had very few points to make along the way. But the whole but he, time... He, he, he did bring it up three times. The, uh, uh, three times in one hour? But, no, no, no. <laughs> Compared to us. Very cool. Compared to us. Exactly. Are we concerned about people who talk a lot? Or are we complaining of people who change the situation? You see, the problem is, not, mm, if in a group setting, you're not saying anything, they're not giving the chance to never say anything. You knew very well you've been examined. Mm -hmm. You knew very well that how you perform them would be judged against you. Mm -hmm. And they chose to be silent. Mm -hmm. And yet she chose to be silent, but when she needed to make her point, she came in with her soft voice, made a very strong point. point. That made but, but it made people stop and think. Yeah, but it so, made people stop and think. Let's say we're going to one, to one. No, 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 I'm just saying, let's not I, throw her out of the no, equation. Because either is mm -hmm. not making a good point. It, it's like, I can make a great point once every year, and then nobody listens to it, and then I just sit back and but, watch. But, it, but it, it, no, I make a point that changes the situation. It didn't change anything because people couldn't talk to yeah. No, but I think it made, it, it, there, was a, there was a moment of silence as people kind of took in what she had said. Then they but then, yes. Let's show silence again. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but yesterday, one of the participants say, bigger leader is not about this anymore. You see, the problem is, so, mm, if in a group setting, mm -hmm. you're not saying anything, they're not giving the chance to never say anything. You knew very well you've been examined. Mm -hmm. You knew very well that how you performed them would be judged against you. Mm -hmm. And they choose to be silent. After four hours of heated deliberations, the judges arrived at a decision. It was extremely, extremely difficult uh, choosing the last four. Oh, very difficult. Like the, our favorites, like my favorites didn't make it. Uh, because when you give them the group task, they didn't perform. Uh, we're looking out for leadership qualities, someone standing out, being able to voice what they're thinking, even if it's wrong, which they're not able to. Uh, they were very timid in the group task, and we had to cut them off. It was very painful. We argued with the other judges who should be in the finals, uh, but we all agreed that the last four that we picked were the best. Uh, we have four names who are going to the next round. And that doesn't indicate that the guys will be doing the next round of readers. We have three readers in your own right. And we show the best uh, for the four. The first one is uh, one on two, Adel Abdallah. Uh, 
uh, the second one is 0, 6, Paul Zinabuario. It was a very inspiring being a judge. Uh, you're dealing with young people who, are, who come from some of the most uh, marginalized communities. Uh, their stories are very humbling. Uh, for them, some of them, how they struggle to get it to, to Garissa, uh, what they're doing back home. It's, it's a challenge to some of us who live in Nairobi. This cozy life, you open the tap, there's water. You walk out, there's tarmac. As in, it's a different ball game out there. There are no roads. There's no pipe to water, there are no schools, there's no government, there's no police. They're, they're not like Kenyan citizens. And so hearing their stories about survival <clears throat> and how they've made it, it's inspiring. Next time we hit the road again, this time to Kisi for the third auditions. The Uongozi train is not about to stop as we look for the ideal Kenyan leader. to change the leadership of our country? Remember, the power lies in your hands. Register as a voter today and choose the leader you and Kenya deserve. <laughs>